today I'm very proud to announce the release of the Criterion Core Series rifle barrels for the AR-15. It's a continuous taper. We're taking a page from what we know about precision bolt guns and what makes them so accurate and we're applying it to the AR-15. It's meant to be run hard. Alright, we got a tunnel. Moving off to the left. Roger, I'm moving. Alright, continuing on the left. We got two tunnels across from each other. I got I'm, I'm going low. Joe covered down the hall. It's on you. It's very well balanced. I mean, even with all of those accessories on the front end of the gun, the gun is just very much neutrally balanced. And that's with, you know, low power variable optic, offset aim point, your IR laser, your light, suppressor. It slows you down, it burdens you. I mean, it makes you, it makes you have maximum capabilities with a firearm, but it doesn't necessarily maximize the shooter's capability with the gun. So it's basically taking what would normally be like the weight on the front end of a government contour, and it's bringing all that material back towards the breach where all the heat takes place when you're firing. Clear. All right, back down front. All right, parts are with you. Got a large industrial room. Ready? I'm ready, I'm taking my right. Roger. Obviously, there's guys out there climbing mountains, kicking in doors. They need to be able to move fast with their guns. But this is an answer to that. This is not a pencil contour. This is not something that's super lightweight that heats up fast. It's a barrel that's meant to be you know, used and used hard. It's meant for training. It's meant for someone who's going to have high volume round counts. But at the same time, it's going to make you more effective with the gun. Move it up. We got to go down here. You're moving around and if you're actually using the gun in the real world, that's what makes the difference. And that's specifically what this gun was, you know, is set up for. This barrel is designed for somebody who's going to be actually applying it to real world shooting. In real life, when are you taking a shot from the prone? Rarely. 